So before we get started on making this incredibly fat dupe stash on video together, I'm just noting that from now on, most likely all my videos, including this one, will be sponsored by SweetAnarchy.net. So go play on the server. It's on 1.18.2, and uh, yeah, let's get to the video. Hello, every pony. Um, today I'm showing how to make a fat stash very easily using the meal dupe. So people always use the item frame dupe because as it seems the mule dupe isn't that easy to understand or to upsize it I think that's where people fail. So today I show how I make a decent sized mule dupe setup that works pretty well. Actually in tutorial, like a tutorial for it. And I'll be making a fat stash with it. So first step obviously is you want mules for the mule dupe right? So you need Donkeys and horses and I have two of both because I want to breed them since I want more donkeys and horses for more cells And uh, what this means is you have to find them and well I did but Many people have trouble apparently doing so so I'll give a quick guide on how to do it So if you use meteor client you have a like module called tracers and you just select donkeys and horses to show up that's really it and now you just search following biomes meadow plains and savannah that are the only three biomes that contain both of the mobs do not search any other biomes they don't have those mobs just don't bother um so basically what i like to do is once i have it have them since you obviously need to tr transport them there's no way to tp them so you actually need to yeah Travel them. The best way I do it is hold up. I need to get an item. So imagine those are horses So what I like to do is I have a light fly on a lower speed So normally you can put it to 2.1 without any rubber band But I put it to 1.1 usually or like a bit lower egg as well And I just put let's imagine those are horses donkeys. I just put them on a lead and start the light flying and now you just fly them up a bit and you start going backwards and don't try to zigzag a lot because they'll be thrown off elites you have to kind of fly a straight line just to where you want to transport them to and uh maybe don't throw them around as much as i do but if you decide oh i want to land them this island because i want to or like this place because i want to build my mule dupe setup there then all you do is simply just fly down land them in water or cobwebs and just get them off elite and transport them into the cells you want them to be in and really that's how i transport them it's like if you have let's say you only find like horses what let's say like 6k away from your stash then that's a good way to transport the mobs so this is the flawless auto mule duper that um yeah i'm going to use to make the large stash and this is what i'm doing the tutorial for so in my sweet anarchy gift shop discord which the link will be in the description by the way there's a guide channel and in the guide channel you can find the download right at the bottom alongside with other info that is very useful um if you don't have like magic or you have trouble building this new type of fort, whatever reason just don't bother with this one and use Taf's tutorial on how to may um do fast it shows a uh, inline uh mule dupe design that is very easy to build and it's really fast as well but let's say you have like Matica, so all you're going to do is you have this like schematic and you just put it inside your light Matica folder or schematics folder in that case and you just load up the schematic uh, which should be right over here for me basically then you have the schematic placements right you can just move it around and like Select the right spot for you to build it at. Let's say this is the per perfect spot and then you just would build this block for block. Uh, you can select it to show layer by layer. But you could set the layer right over here or the rendering mode. And just build this up. Really, it's that simple. By the way, if you have trouble understanding how to do the layer by layer thing, which, uh, well, I'm doing. Uh, you just press M, which opens your menu for Lightmatica. You go in the configuration menu and to the hotkeys. And here you just search for layer previous or next, either of both works. Um, and layer mode. Both things, it doesn't matter if next or previous is keybinded, just keybind them. And then, yeah, that's really it. 
Alright, I'm now on the actual server and I decided this is the perfect location for me to build the uh, mule dude setup because I want the stash to be right over here. So, yep, yeah, I'm just going ahead now and building it layer by layer, starting from the bottom all the way to the top, since it's, that's easier. And then you, at the end, before you put the slabs, you just, like, bring in the horses and donkeys. One horse and one donkey per cell. It's really bad simple. Oh, and a quick side note, I'm going to uh, build this out of Blackstone just b because I prefer the block, at least for the current place I'm at. Oh, and by the way, there's a material list right over here, um, which I will also put in the pinned comment or description. Uh, so, if you want to swap specific building blocks out, here you can view them all. Oh, and by the way, there are those blocks which are marked blue, but show no block on the blueprint so those contain signs and uh, yeah you just play signs then they will show red as if you play something wrong but it's fine all right my new baby is complete and damn it is looking sexy so I swapped all the blocks out for um, blackstone and generally darker blocks because I wanted to it's really up to you what you want to change the building blocks to it doesn't matter as long as um, they have the same redstone properties so now I don't have it topped off, but now I'm getting in the donkeys and mules. One donkey, I mean one donkey and one horse per cell, and then I top it off, and then I'm ready to do. So yeah, I'll just go ahead and do that really quick. Okay, and I just thought it's important to tell. So since some people really have trouble, I'll just go through it. Basically, f before you can even breed horses or donkeys or horses and donkeys to make mules you need to tame them up so first of all feed it five gapples that will make sure you can instant tame them up i mean on anarchy really you got a lot of gapples so just feed it a few before you tame it in this case i tamed both and then you just give them two god apples which well uh i just did those i think so i may need to wait <laughs> Well, I forgot to tell, but you need to wait five minutes before you can breed uh, horses again. So, and the same for donkeys. So now the five minutes have passed and yep, there the timer just ran out. So now I can breed those both. And we got a baby horse. Now, the same thing, give it five gapples, it will go grow instant. It just will grow instantly. And you give it five gapples again, just so you can tame it instantly as well. Boom, I tamed it already. And uh, now this is a bit nasty. Let me help. Oh, yeah, there we go. I got it out. Okay, so now just use the module entity control on a meteor client since it will let you saddle, like, or just ride the horse anywhere you want without putting a saddle on it. So even if you didn't uh, tame it, it will let you ride it. The movement may be janky, it may, may, like, it may pull you a bit left or right, or the jumping is sort of weird, but. It works out to get the horses in the cells, and uh, yeah, cells are just quite painful, so there we go. I got them in. So let's do the same for the donkeys. Let's breed them really quick. Yep, the timer also just ran out. Dude. Okay, and we got our baby donkey. You give it five gapples, it will grow instantly. Give it five gapples again, so we can tame instantly. There we go. And just get it out of the cell, and well, the donkeys just don't have any jumping power. God, I got awful donkeys. Okay, let's close this off, and let's ride it uh, all the way into the cell. And just bring it inside, hop out of it, fly out, and top it off so they don't do stupid jumping or get out somehow. There we go. Um, I'm just saying, so now you do this for all the cells, uh, yeah, you need to wait every five minutes until you can breed again. I mean, if you only have two horses and donkeys like me, if you have more, obviously you don't need to wait, but yeah, I'll see you all when I did that. Alright, I got all the horses and donkeys in the cells now, and even topped it off, so, um, I also have all the kids prepared my ender chest, it's around 20 kids. Uh, so I want my stash to be right over here, so I'll set it up in a bit. It's really early in the morning, so I'm the only player on the server, as it seems. And, uh, before I forget to mention, when you build up a setup, you have these dispensers over here, and you have to fill them up with invincibility arrows that are one minute long. At least the effect. 
And you can get those arrows from the sweet gift shop, uh, link in the description, so just so you know. Invisibility potions would work, but you don't want to refill every nine uh, throws, right? Instead, you can also have them stacked and you have like 500 uh, something of them. It's a lot better. Okay, let's get to the actual duping. So, I have 15 chalkers of a certain kit, like for all the mules. That's just how I will go. It's important that you have a stack of chests and 5 stacks of gapples and uh, nothing else in your inventory, so you need 30 empty slots. I mean, it's not like that necessary, but else it's going to be really inconvenient. So, what you'll be doing is essentially just grab like 30 kits out, like I did. Now, just walk up here and uh, keep in the module and Meteor Climb that is called Auto Breed. You turn it on and just simply run along, like this line. Now to the other one. Turn it off. And now you should see at every cell a baby meal popping up. I mean, yeah. Seems like it worked out just fine. I'm just showing it's like not you have to it's not like you have to check. So after that you just simply <clears throat> hop down to the cell and feed every mule at least 10 gapples. Reason being you need 5 gapples for the mule to instantly grow up and 5 gapples for it to be tamed instantly. Else you'll just waste a lot of time waiting like for to tame. And then you just simply throw chess on it and load it up. And after that you just turn on Elijah Fly, hop out and into the next cell. Feed this one 10 gapples, hop on the mule, hopefully tame it instantly, there we go. Throw a chest on it, hop back on, fill it up with all the kits. And now you'll go back to the storage and grab your next 30 kits. So I'll just grab those and these ones. And straight into the next cell. Feed this one 10 gapples, hop on. It should be tamed instantly, throw a chest on and load it up with your shelters. And you just do this simply for all the cells that are here. And I don't really think there's much more that needs to be explained, so uh, I'll just cut into when I am finished with that job. So, um, one note, the system is sadly not perfect, so basically what you would do is push the button and all the mules should be shot automatically invisible and killed, but uh, there's an issue with server plugins, in single player it works flawlessly, but on the server it just doesn't always work, it has to do with like a plugin called Anarchy, Anarchy Exploit Fixes and there's another plugin that uh, really I cannot talk about video or at least I don't want to, but so basically what you'll have to do occasionally is just have invisibility arrows ready in a bow and if you see visible mules just shoot them invisible here so let's press the button they should be all mostly shot invisible and thrown into the cells and no uh, this time except those last two mules we got all of them invisible so that's good uh, so let's give those a manual shot to fix it and there we go now we just enjoy the automatic duping and all the items should be collected by the storage so there's one thing right now i'm getting a huge amount of kits and that is because the mule dupe gets buffed every month right now i get 90 kits per killed mule which is just insane normally you get f like 45 out of which 30 a profit right now you get 75 profit so um yeah Basically the chests are not able to hold all, so I actually need to manually collect it and uh, throw it into my chest modules, which I'll do really quick. Let's get rid of some storage really quick because I want to pick up items faster. So yeah, I get way too much output because of that event, which is cool. 
It will happen occasionally, then this dupe is really overkill and worth it. You have to build up a setup. I'm just serious, like it's so overpowered. So I'll just run back and forth and load it all into the chests really quick. And I'll continue the dupe a few more times and uh, yeah, fill up the stash so I got a highway stash ready to go for the next video. Alright, and the remaining kids should, should land in the storage right over here. Alrighty, so I moved all the kids that are like out here that couldn't fit in the system. I picked them all up and moved them in. Like, move them in. So now all I got to do is um, also move the chest items over to this like actual storage. But you could also just like, if you're really good at it, just add your storage right under the system. I think it's actually better. I mean, it's way less effort. You could just repeat a cycle faster. Just so we get onto the details. With this crack system, you get 900 Shalkers when doing a cycle with all mules, out of which 600 kits are profit. That is around 11 dubs. And um, with a current buff, you receive... Let me think actually for a second. You get 1,800 kits, out of which 1,500 are profit. It's just busted. <laughs> it is just straight up busted. So, um, that is, like, what, 28 dubs or something? That's just insane. Okie dokie, so, let's do another round. Turn on auto breed. Run to the other side. Turn off auto breed and now just drop the mules, tame them and loot them up with shulkers. So I finished the ender chests, I apparently did way too much. But I still have a bit of obsidian I need to dupe, like it's just a tiny teeny bit. So let's get that sorted out, I need like two um, mules roughly. So that should do it, I think at least. Alright, this time I'll be going with only 6 mules since I am almost done with my stash. It's almost full to the brim, so I really don't need more. So, I'm just showing it also works if you don't, like, fill up and grow up every mule. Uh, you'll just have baby mules that die here, but I guess that's really not an issue. So, yeah, there we go. Okay, just 10 duping cycles later, I finished my stash, which is about... 280 double chests, including the Harpers, obviously, full of Shulkers, and uh, this should definitely supply me for all my needs uh, to build highways. All I can say is this only took me a day, <laughs> especially only a few hours with a buffed rate. So if you want to make a stash this size as an example, with the normal rates, even if there's no dupe event, you only end up spending like a day, at most, at most, probably way less. And it's really worth it to build this design for events, like, it's just so much faster than the item frame dupe. Like, even with a normal rate, you are three times as fast nearly, and, or even faster, I think, I'm not sure. But like, with the buff rates, it's just god tier, so... Yeah, I'll just give this whole place a makeover now off-camera and uh, I think that's it for the video. See ya, everypony.